Welcome back to the channel. Thank you guys so much for joining. Um, my 12-year-old daughter, Marilyn, watched my last episode and asked why I was so depressed. She thought it was <laughs> lacking energy, so whatever. Sorry if there's not as much energy as normal, but today... It's because I'm here. <laughs> maybe that's it. No, I think I was just... Because of the mics, I was scared to like scream and blast out the audio, but anyway. Um, today we're going to be making one of the most amazing, delicious recipes I've ever had that mom's made. It is onion bread. Is that what it's called? Onion bread? Yep. It's raw vegan onion bread. Raw vegan onion bread. And it is absolutely incredible. She's made it a couple of times now. And every time it's just like sandwiches with sprouts, tomatoes, um, cabbage. It's just like you can put anything on there and it's very, very sweet, delicious, and we're excited to share it with you. So it's, it's also savory, <laughs> very sa sweet and savory at the same time. So you will need a dehydrator, Vitamix. I think a food processor. Food processor. Okay. Let me grab that while you talk about maybe what's going in there. Okay. What I got here is uh, three cups. Well, it's supposed to be three cups of uh, white, sweet onions chopped up but I don't measure, I just chop up three big white on, sweet onions, and that's what I get. I think it's more like four cups, but I don't care. And this is a cup of- uh, The more onion, the better. Ground flaxseed, one cup of unground flax, yields, I think about two cups of ground flax. This is two tablespoons of Italian seasoning and two teaspoons of salt pink Himalayan sea salt. Uh, the guy that I watched the video of, he used that, uh, black, that uh, eggy kind of salt, I forget what it's called, but um, half of it and, this, and regular salt in the other half. And this is supposed to be three tablespoons of oil, but again, I don't measure it. It looks like about three tablespoons to me, so that's gonna be good. That's coconut oil? Yes, okay. that's coconut oil. You can use, you know, of course. Uh, Foxy oil? You could use uh, what's that, olive oil or any other kind of oil, I guess. And I don't know oil, about flaxseed oil. But if you're oil free too, another option would be to increase the amount of sunflower seeds. Uh, or you could add in some kind of nuts because basically those are straight oil. So it's just an option if you're, if you're, and you can also sub out the salt. for. Something. And I have a cup of uh, sunflower seeds that have already been soaked, activated, and dried. So we're going to chop these up first into flour. Yes. Okay. All the way into flour then? Well, yeah, okay. as much as you want. Okay. Now we need a bowl, mixing bowl. One mixing bowl coming right up. Oh wait, I can do this. Leave this part on here. Ooh, fancy. <laughs> okay. And the only other ingredient that I didn't bring over is uh, some dates. Five dates is what I've been putting in this recipe made into date paste. That's why it's so sweet. Oh man. Dan um, has the dates already soaked, so I didn't bring any over. So. Yeah, I pre-soak my dates because I use them every day in my smoothie. And well, first, this is a yeah. mixing bowl, huh? Yep. It's the okay. one we're using. <laughs> All right. The other one's in the dishwasher, which I guess I probably could have paused. Sorry if you guys can hear the dishwasher in the back. It's running. Are you going to grind these up and make them in day paste or not? Sure. Yeah. Okay. Is that what you want me That's to do? That's what I would like. Okay. So you were going to add right some up. water with it, I five. guess. Five? Yeah, five days. Okay. About five days. One, two, three, four. Do one more big one. And these are just medjool dates. Um, yes. How much water do you think? About as much as you have dates in there. So there's one, two, three four, five, and then one for good measure. For grow on. It's about, it's about five tablespoons, I would say. Of I, use, I like to use the water from soaking the dates. Me because too. Because it's loaded with 
and sweetness and goodness nutrients and all the other stuff so all right grind these up make a nice date paste do you, ever, do you ever get the spatula and push it down and try again or no i think it's probably good don't you probably We'll use this to get to get it out of there. I did it again. I think I'm just gonna dump these onions right in the mixing bowl right now. Go for it. Okay, the date paste is everywhere, so I'm gonna and the um, also the seasoning, salt and that's just Italian seasoning, you said? That's Italian seasoning. It's a, it called for um, thyme, but I use mm. Italian seasoning. Because it's got other things in it too. You know, the first time I make a recipe, I like to follow it. <laughs> and then... Do you? No, I'm just kidding. I thought so. Just give me. I, I don't think I. I think I looked up a, a bunch of different recipes and then kind of just put them <laughs> together in my head. That's what I did with my raw vegan crackers. I kind of made my own Frankenstein recipe of, and it's that's really, exactly right. really good. This is a little more than paste that's maybe? okay because it says to add water but i haven't yeah. ever needed to okay okay cool so date paste which is more like date syrup maybe yeah mm -hmm. but it's uh, got all the dates in there so it does yeah Oops, i'll sorry. take that yep. spatula and just put this oil coconut in. oil in there even though it's not melted it will melt as we mix the stuff together and this I can just leave here and put through the dishwasher. Is that flax? That's flax. Okay, with flax, and I'm sure you did this, you don't want to grind up your flax a long time before you use it. You want no. to grind it up and use it almost immediately because it, it will, I think it's oxidized. I'm pretty sure it'll begin to oxidize pretty quickly. So just a little tip. So that was done about half an hour Perfect. ago. Perfect. And obviously the flax will help bind the bread together. This is looking really good and smelling really good. That, is that just flax? That's just flax. Two, it's two, two different, different colors. Okay, that's why I was like, it looks like you had the golden brown flax seeds and then you had the darker ones. Too. Right, I did. Darker, I had yeah. both. And this is it. I mean, this is the whole recipe. Wow. And then you just Simple. put it out on a... Um, on your trays. Dehydrator tray. So you have to form each little piece or no, wait, how yeah, did you? Yeah, I did. Yeah, you just kind of smash them down into little pancakes or yeah. something? Yeah. Okay. This doesn't look quite as uh, wet, maybe. We could I don't add know. a little I bit use more a... water if you want, the date water if you want. No, okay. this is fine. I, okay. Um, I think that I use a third of a cup measuring cup to, to uh, scoop it out okay. for each slice. Okay. And then I form it into a slice. I'm getting three trays. I don't know how many. How many trays does it take, Mom? So I don't know. Dan might want to mix this a little bit more. What, Dan? I was saying, how many trays does it take? Two. Two? Okay. Perfect. I got three just in case. Okay. I, I don't think it needs to get mixed anymore. It looks very well mixed to me. Okay. Well, get out your third of a cup okay. measuring cup. It's right here. This is kind of the fun part, I think. Dan can do one tray and I'll do one tray. Okay. That way we can figure out who's the better. I think chef. you can fit like, I fit eight of them on a sheet. Okay. So I put like. Did you wash your nasty hands? Of course I did. Okay, just checking because. That would be gross. I was out playing in the dirt earlier. You don't want to. Just do this. Watch this. <laughs> okay. That's a lot faster. How many per tray? Eight? Yeah, you're going to do... I was going to say that ain't going to work. Six. Uh, and then oh, six two. six per tray? No. You do three this way and then two this way. Do two more in that row. And don't you have two of those spatulas that you use? Help me out. What? I've got like six spatulas. <laughs> I've got a lot I'm of trying them. to figure out how many how we're gonna fit eight on one tray still. <laughs> well that's how Oh, I you're talking about that kind of spatula. Okay. 
Yeah, and then, you know, you just have to... I don't like that one as much. This is the one I prefer. Try this one. Okay. It's a little bit more sturdy. This is, I don't know what the heck this is good for. Maybe frosting a cake, maybe, or something. It's just too flimsy for me. But while you do that, I'm going to hop over here and knock these things out. Even though that's only six, right? Uh, yeah, but we can get the other two in a minute. All right. Take my time forming them into little slices because I like them to be nice when I go to make my sandwich. And these will keep really great in the fridge for several months. Um, just they kidding. don't last they, that they long. They probably right? would actually. I just hate it when like raw food people they'll be like, "This will keep really good in the fridge for two to three days," and I'm thinking like, "It'll keep for a lot longer than that." But whatever. I mean, obviously the fresher the better. But I've had these a week. And they still taste absolutely amazing. And I'm certain that after a week, they're still full of good stuff. Plus, this is just bread. Like, this is basically just something that tastes really, really good to get tomato and all the other good stuff down. So, sprouts and everything else. This is a really, really nice treat after a day of eating nothing but a whole bunch of fruit. So, which is what I typically do. And I really like them because... Uh... Onions are really high in magnesium. Oh, yeah. And I get a lot of magnesium. Look, I fit eight on a tray. Aren't you proud of me? Yeah. You're not. You're pissed because it doesn't look like no, the way I'm you would pissed. do it. Yeah, you are. I can tell. I'm not pissed. You're pissed. I'm not. The people on the video are going to be able to tell you're pissed. I'm not. It's like you great that it. it just start spreading them out into. Um, here, I'll use this one. Well, we've got some more left, but. I don't know, this part oh. is too Oh, well, I got two more to go over here, right? Yeah, but I don't know if that's going to work. Oh. Might need more than that, but whatever. This gets really dark Are when it dries. Do they shrink at all or no? They don't really that stays about the same shrink. size? Yeah. So I had this dude comment on my um, one oh, of my videos green on Facebook. Yeah. One of my um, ethical vegan videos. Mm -hmm. Have you watched any of those? Uh, yes. They can be a little offensive to non-vegans. Um, right. So, I can't remember the guy's name. This is the second person that has brought up this this topic. Are you aware that there are children in mines, cobalt mines in Africa, that are being exploited for your iPhone? No. Me either. Okay, so apparently there's these children in Africa. And... Um, they're, I don't know who they is, people in Africa maybe, business owners, Apple, I don't know. Somebody in power, in a position of power or authority, is like exploiting these children by like, you know, like the whole like child labor thing? Where you, yeah. Okay. So I guess they're doing that to these kids in Africa. And it's for cobalt, which is used to like make your iPhone and your iPad. So this guy, and this is the second person that has brought up this, this atrocity. Subject to with, you know, children being exploited for, and, and it's weird because like to me, it doesn't have anything to do with animals. Not to say like, you know, it's not bad. It's just like, I do a video about animal, you know, vegan, ethical vegan viewpoints, right? Like mm -hmm. the whole idea that if we don't have to kill animals to eat, then why, why are we? And trying to help people work through the reasons that they may have in their mind anyway right and one of the reasons is because children are exploited for our cell phones <laughs> well that's I, I don't know if it's like an excuse like they're like well dan how do you and that's kind of how it's been brought up it's like well how do you how do you justify i don't you'd say obviously i don't right I'm, I'm recording this on my phone but it's just and i think i think i said that at one point like i don't i don't obviously justify i don't and it's not that I don't feel the need to, but it's kind of like I personally, as horrible as this may sound, and this is probably going to sound really horrible, I don't feel, how are we going to fit two more on that tray, Mom? We're not, because I didn't put them on here right. So you lied. I, you, I can, but it, it didn't. Mom. <laughs> Nobody's going to trust you anymore. Um, you mean you're not going to trust me anymore? No, there's a lot of other people that are watching right now that are probably going to have a hard time. Judy, anyway. 
You still trust me, don't you? Don't be talking to people individually. <laughs> it's bad enough she interrupted the last video. Hope you feel really horrible about that, too, Judy. <laughs> <laughs> did she know? Did she say anything? No. Did you hear that? I didn't edit that out. Yeah. I I'm it. like, is that Judy? <laughs> yep. Uh, anyway, um, back to my cobalt mining. So there's these kids, and they get exploited, and I feel horrible about it. But I'm not willing to not buy an iPad to like, you know. And and maybe that's really bad of me. Maybe as a vegan, they feel like I should have to not buy an iPhone or something. Like, well, if you're going to be vegan. No iPhone for you. No exploitation kids, whatsoever. Because there's kids in Africa that are getting exploited. Therefore, you should not be allowed to have an iPhone. I don't know. It doesn't make any sense to me, but I just thought I'd bring it well, up. Well, yeah, it is it is kind of a justification of theirs, I guess. Yeah, it's like, can't you be against, like, the cobalt mines in Africa? Instead? And, and animal cruelty? <laughs> yeah. Like, why do you have to pick one? Like, is it that? I don't know. Just seems weird. Well, those look good to me, but I keep, keep messing with them. I can make them look more perfect. Mine are a little less perfect, but they're done. <laughs> this one is flat, or skinnier on this end. Nobody asked you to comment well, on the shape, size. Nobody's going to trust you. I'm not critiquing. You. Your, well, I'm not the one having a perfectionist moment. But I like my sandwiches to look nice. Then you I'm... can you eat that tray, and so I'll I eat can my take tray. Pictures of them. <laughs> this isn't for Pinterest, okay? This is for my YouTube channel. You want. Okay. Look at this. We're going to make 12 today. Oh, wow. Almost. Or I think it's a lot of onions, I think. That's good, though. I love onions, especially sweet onions. They had some at the um, that roadside place yesterday oh, yeah. that I bought the watermelon at. And yeah. I said, are, are, are these organic? She said, no. I said, is anything here organic? <laughs> she said, no. I was thinking, okay. We're done here. No, just kidding. <laughs> I'll take two watermelons. <laughs> and I got some boiled peanuts for um, Marilyn and uh, Angela. Six bucks for a pint or two for ten. So I got one for each of them. And there's leftovers in the fridge. Look at that. Look at that. We got six. There's six on each tray, so that's 18. That's really good. That's really Oh, yeah, I said 12. I'm, I'm my bad. So, that means, that's so nine. we each get nine pieces. That means we only that's get half a sandwich. four sandwiches for you <laughs> and five sandwiches for me. Probably. That's my math. That might be how it works out anyway. Well, I was going to give myself an extra piece of banana bread last night, but when Angela, Warren, and Marilyn decided all decided they were going to have banana bread, which that will probably be our next recipe, folks, if you're... Yeah, I made some really good banana really bread. Really good banana bread. Yesterday. Cinnamon, I didn't want to wait to mm. film it, though, so we'll have to do it again. You could use an extra date or two, but other than that, it is You really, think so? Yeah. I mean, oh, yeah? Well, I made the I chocolate... Like sweet. Topping for Ooh, mine, and it thanks for perfect. sharing. Well, you were gone, it was I past was, your eating I came window. Back. Oh, yeah. Oh, speaking of which, it's 12 06. I'm gonna eat, I'm gonna start drinking my lemon ginger blast. I'm really, really excited about this because I haven't eaten since last night at 6 p.m. Oh, I think I made a mistake too on my one of my last videos. I said I've been doing um, intermittent fasting for like Today's over four months. Four months I've been doing intermittent fasting. That's really good. Mm -hmm. Talk to the people, Mom. How long do we dehydrate these? People, um, we <laughs> put these in the dehydrator for like four hours, about four hours, and then we flip them and uh, peel off the Teflex sheets off the back, just put them on a mesh sheet so they can finish drying. And you know, they always tell you how long it takes, but I find that like yesterday, the banana bread, it said four to six hours. Well, it was done in like three and yep. it would have been way past done if we had left it for four. So you got to check your bread and, and make sure it's not getting crackers. <laughs> I mean, there's no problem if it Although, does. Yeah, if these turned into crackers, they would probably be amazing. But if you're looking for bread, you don't want them. And, and also how thick that is, too. I mean, these are pretty these are pretty thick. I'll give you an idea of how thick. But, I mean, they're, I don't know if you can tell, quarter inch maybe. So they, they're really perfect for sandwiches. They, are they even curl up a little bit perfect. so that you can, you know, which side is the inside of your sandwich is the side that holds more stuff. 
All right, we'll be back. All right, so we're gonna flip them over. They've been in the dehydrator now for about three hours-ish, maybe a little bit more. So that's how you do that. You just put one of these on there, flip it over, and that's it. You can just peel this off. They're ready to go back in for another probably two hours, right, Mom? Ish? Yeah, at least. Yep. Okay, we'll be back for taste test. Thank you. All right, we're all set. We have this delicious onion bread all done and delicious. And I put a little bit of cashew cream cheese with some fresh, freshly sliced organic Roma tomato. And then some cucumber that my mom turned into this amazing pickle. Um, and I'm going to put just a little bit of sprouts on top. And we're going to give this thing a go. You can, there's a thousand different ways you could do that. And you could even do this with one piece instead of two. I've got dirt on my hand from gardening. I try to wash them. Mmm. Mmm. Very good. Try it, Mom. Let's try a bite. A little messy, but very good. I get a pickle in there. Ooh, avocado would be good on that. It's dripping, juicy. Every bite's got a pickle. That is good, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Really, really good. So try that out, guys. Give that onion bread a, a, a try and let us know what you think. We've got a ton of tomatoes coming up in our garden. Mom and I just planted out there a whole bunch. Oh, that's a bad focus. A whole bunch of tomatoes out there. So we're going to have plenty of homegrown delicious tomatoes. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you at the next one.